And if you recall, last year, Mr. Beach was ready to refuse to put those students up there. And we fixed the whole road. But it hasn't been touched this year. It's garbage. I talked to Mr. Beach the other day, and he said that he doesn't want to do that road. The beginning part was hit. But, but it's, there's holes in it. There was nothing done on that road this year at all. There was no tar and chip. There was no holes patched. So my question is, Especially with the, with the school buses going through there, okay. why would we put $8,900 or $9,000 into Nita Drive, which is a dead end road, and you have through traffic on these other roads? That's what I don't understand. No inner discussion between each other. Um, thank you, Mr. King. Is there any okay. Are you finished? Well, there's some other roads, but they're basically the same. They need to help one of the roads, another one. We're going to do that next year. That's on the schedule for That's what's going to be done this year. Uh, right now, it's bonded at this moment okay. by um, Advanced Pipeline, yeah. and they are going to be taking care of that section that they worked right there. So they'll take care of almost no, the majority of Washington Road. And the other roads, like Donaldson, the Horseshoe, are on Donaldson. Uh, CNX is going to be repairing that whole horseshoe. They're on hold because of the, with the borough um, now. They're resuming their project. The whole section will be taken care of. Um, most of our roads, almost all of our roads have been touched uh, and repaired in the last two years except for Schaefer and the Schaefer will be reprofiled, blacktop, and to do just from where the blacktop ends now to the base of the road is forty thousand dollars. To do from the blacktop all the way to the end of Schaefer Road or Smith Township is eighty thousand. So that was gonna go for next year. I can try and remedy some things, but And they had to add to it on Babel Road, there's holes over there on the road that were never touched from the torn chip. So you have pretty much the same situation on Babel Road as what you have over there on King Road. How they got to go out. And it, 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 it's past that point of just a little bit of patch. Okay? Okay. It needs help. Uh, sir? My folks, uh, Brook Street, uh, I want to get an addendum added to your, your, your uh, zoning or your building code. For fences. Okay. Um, this this is for agenda items only at this time. Uh, at the well, end of the meeting. To, uh, but there's another public discussion there's at the two. end of the meeting, and that's for general items. The first public discussion is for items that are being voted on at the meeting. That's not our laws. I know it's, it's a late township time. code. All right. Whatever. Anybody else on agenda items no, only? On What's on the agenda? Go to the approval of the minutes from the board supervisor meeting on July 13, 2015. Uh, I had one direction that I know to Erin, she's going to take care of, so um, with the exception of that adjustment. Um, I think it's good. Yeah, some cats where they need to go and shoot. <coughs> they can't shoot the dogs when I'm killing them. Right, I make a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting on July 13. Do I have a second? I'll second that. <coughs> it's been motion. It's been moved and seconded. Um, roll call the vote. Mr. Pennell? Yes. Mr. Durant? Yes. Motion carries. All right. Acknowledgement of correspondence for the month of July. Have you got time to read everything? Yep. All right. I have read it as well. Uh, next item is authorization of payment of bills and payroll for the month of July. Uh, any discussion on that? Actually, Yes. Myself is yes. Motion carries. 
All right, bring us to the next item, which is reports. The fire department is the very first one. Jones departments are on file. Okay, on file. Police is on file. Zoning and code enforcement. File. Animal control. On file yeah. Yes. Okay. It's on file as well. Supervisor's report. Okay. I'll save mine for the public works. Uh, manager's report. And yes, it's a time during the sale on file. Yes. Yeah, I can leave if you like. Totally up to you. You wish or not. I'll, I'll just. You can just brush through. Yeah. Quick. Instead of telling you about all the meetings, I have 11 meetings for the month of July. If anyone would like to see them afterwards, please. I'd love to share that with you. Um, I had five resident complaints in the past month. Three were of neighbor relation. Uh, one was a sewage complaint, and one complaint about a street light being out. Um, I coded invoices and paid, paid bills, processed payroll twice, reviewed the, proposed, reviewed the proposed ordinances. I worked closely with Pennsylvania American Water to rectify issues with our fire hydrant list for Robinson Township. Responded to emails and forwarded many of them onto the board members. I transposed the minutes from the last township meeting, meetings, made bank deposits, reconciled bank statements for the month. Sent a signed developer's agreement to Northwest for the Cybus compressor. Um, I spoke to a Mr. Allen Binder of the DEP who called to inquire about our process for the Northwest Imperial Compressor Station, and I went through the process with him. I worked on the development of the township's web website with Susan, and we should have a, a website, a new website for the township within a few days. Uh, we, I prepared the monthly manager's report, uh, made preparations for the 2013 township audit, I prepared the lease agreement for the new loader and the truck, I met with the road department on several days to review their work, I prepared the exhibits for the zoning hearing for the Valentinos that took place on July 15th, on July 17th I took a vacation day, uh, I assisted residents with questions and concerns, ordered on-road fuel for our trucks, I uh, scheduled a liquid fuel audit, which will be August 20th. I paid the UC tax for the second quarter. I searched for the pension contribution forms for prior years, and I also called AXA, which is the company that our state aid has been sent to. I drove back Fable, Elder, Taylor, Nature's Way, Campbell, Sunny Hill, Washington, and Church Roads. Uh, all of these roads are bonded by different companies. I contacted First Energy about Nature's Way. I contacted Association Associated Pipeline about Sunny Hill and Washington Roads. I made arrangements with a court reporter for two hearings with Latino. I advertised the two hearings in the Observer. I met um, on the 27th with Curtis Hardy and Alicia Firm from Amped Airsoft. They are renting land formerly known as the Pittsburgh Gun Club and plan to open a sportsman-like gaming facility called Airsoft. Um, I was contacted by Dennis Piper from the Montour Trail Commission about using a parking lot on September 26th. Uh, I reviewed the amusement tax ordinance and composed letters to, the, to Quicksilver and McDonald's Sportsman's Association to provide proof of receipts for the calculation of the tax. I advertised the cap ordinance for adoption at tonight's meeting. I sent the road applications to Omega Logging Company. Spoke with a project engineer for Race Energy about their development in the township. Um, I reviewed Gene Novak's suggestions and revisions for the township's proposed personnel policy, and I made revisions. And I also met with uh, Mr. Parker from General Code about codifying our ordinances. Okay. Solicitor's report. Um, the most of the work that we did this past month was 
actual routine work other than uh, you know, we did we were involved with the uh, getting ready for these hearings tonight and I did attend the planning commission meeting and worked with them on their uh, recommendations um, at that meeting. It's end of report. Public okay. works. All right. Uh, Torrent ship work has been completed last month. Uh, approval for the Raccoon Creek Road Grant for only the drain pipe has been approved. Uh, I will resubmit the uh, updated plan this week to Washington County Conservation District. Uh, the brush mower uh, broke and was welded. Uh, we have numerous roads that are under bond that will be repaired by the contractors that have bonded them. That would be Campbell Road, Eagle Club, Donaldson, Washington, and Sunnyville. And that is my report. Discussion on the others? Yeah. Okay. All right. Motion to, uh, I'll make a motion to approve the reports for the month of July. I have a second. I'll okay. second them. All right. It's been, it's been moved and seconded. I will do a roll call vote. Roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Kendall? Yes. Mr. Duran? I vote yes. Motion carries. All right. Next order of business is old business. Uh, repair of Rita Lane, uh, 345 feet by 14 foot wide. Uh, it's a 56 ton of black top and two inch thick. Uh, CoStar's price is $59 a ton. Um, there's two ways to go around it. You can, uh, the black top itself will cost $3,323. Uh, to have Bromas come in is the usual daily rate of $3,500, which brings you to $6,823.04. There is another way that this can be handled. Uh, we could purchase the black top, as we usually do. And we can do a intergovernmental uh, agreement with McDonald for them to run their paper to pay for the blacktop while we purchase some other trucks. Um, that is another way to do that, and then that means we would only have three thousand three hundred twenty-three dollars and four cents in blacktop, give or take. Um, any discussion on that? Um, yeah. What would it cost to just tore and chip it? We could that for that amount of square footage. It's $1.88. That actually brings us to another part, which up under other business. Per square yard, I don't have my numbers on hand, but it's a lot cheaper. It is. We could tar and chip it. Um, it will not get out the, the wear down the, uh, I call it a W, but it will not get the sag that's on the cart path where the, where the tires go down. It won't get the sag out. Um, that there takes care of it all in one swipe. Okay. Um, you say you have other business on storage chip somewhere? Yeah, it's in the back. It's under other business, under miscellaneous road repairs, uh, number 10, in which we have uh, So we have a hundred ton. Just I was looking for a road cost to do a tar and chip. Okay, so right now you have a hundred tons of stone up at the township building that has to be used. Every year it gets dirtier and the more dirty it gets, the less it will stick to the to the tar. And uh, so we have a hundred tons plus plus Suco left about a trap, so we'll about number sixty sevens as well too. So we have roughly hundred and twenty ton give or take of stone. And Every year, like I did last year, we, would, we order in tanks of tar and we go over the different roads that you hit before um, before the season comes up for winter. In which this year, I was looking at Babel Road, King Road, uh, <coughs> rides and juicy parts of Shaver. If it was possible, uh, that would come. It's a dollar eighty-eight per Coast Stars contract uh, per gallon of CRS. That's that's not a Palmer. That's just a plain CRS too. Uh, it's one cent per gallon to truck it, and that would be under a separate item from them. And we would need roughly 3,500 gallons to 4,000 gallons of tar to take care of 100 to 122 tons of stone. Um, and that would be wherever we run out of stone or tar, we restock it. 